These days, you can check your messages anytime, anywhere. You can even look up news and respond to emails on the way to work. For many adults, it's quite overwhelming. But the younger generation couldn't imagine it any other way. Florian is 17 and has just come back from the U.S. He uses his mobile or laptop to stay in the loop through emails, text messages, and social networks such as Facebook. It's not necessarily something I do for fun. It's more a feeling of wanting to be connected, and this makes it possible. It's satisfying in that respect. For Florian, fast communication is key. He's made plans to meet a friend, with only a time and a general location decided on. I'm connected to people, even if I'm actually alone, on the train or in a cafe. It's that old feeling of wanting to belong to a group. You want to be connected. There's a big generation gap. It's normal for children and young people to have mobile phones and computers with Internet access. The older generation still counts how many hours their children are online, which doesn't make any sense because they're always online. Michael Lange teaches media studies and has been working with young people for seven years. Over the last couple of years, technology has changed drastically. The Internet, a vast playground. It's about experimenting and communicating. Jill is 15 and a member of numerous social networks, including Facebook, Jappy, and Twitter. You always know what others are up to. And you're basically taking part in their lives. You're always informed if something new happens. You know right away. A smartphone is a must for the tech-savvy generation. Marvin is 19 and training to be a media salesman. Being linked in and on the go is no problem with a smartphone. After a while, you get used to having fast access, to always being able to quickly check Facebook or whatever the weather's doing. It really is quite important to me, and I'd probably notice something missing if I put it away for a week. It's both an inspiration and a distraction. Dorothea has just graduated from high school and wants to pursue media studies. She leads an active internet life. If someone starts a discussion on Twitter and people join in that you don't know, then you go on their profile and see if they posted a link that has Facebook comments, etc. It's extremely connected to the point where you lose track of time and an hour has already passed. Being cautious about information often takes a back seat amidst the fun of experimenting. Though the awareness is there, it can be easy to forget. Facebook has all our personal information. I always see ads which are completely tailored to me, but not many people do anything about it because they don't want to give up the communication aspect. Florian and Max don't want to lose the convenience of being able to keep in touch. After all, it makes their lives easier. It's more flexible and a way of planning when you'll meet for real. Getting together as a group is much easier because you just invite everyone somewhere. You don't need to phone since everyone knows what's happening. Whether used to communicate or find information, the Internet is the perfect medium for young people. <laughs>